technology that's within reach it's between Edmonton and Calgary at speeds of up to a thousand kilometers per hour. A high-speed train between Edmonton and Calgary. That's that's that'd be the greatest, wouldn't it? Okay, I, I totally agree with you there, yeah. and I think that. I almost remember thinking about how cool that would be because I, like, my family used to do a decent amount of road trips and I was Me in too, Calgary yeah. a lot, right? So from a young age, I was like, man, why does it have to take mm. four hours to get here, right? Because yeah. like, I mean, that's what I, like, even growing up, it was a four hour flat drive, like no exception, you had to have mm. a couple bathroom breaks yep. and that kind of stop stuff. Stop in Red Deer. So yeah, yeah, stop in Red Deer, go to the donut mill, whatever yeah. it is. Everyone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they, would, they would just have to have the train station there. Yeah. At the donut mill. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Peters that they have there now, but yeah, but you know what? I think that would really change how I feel like Alberta's stuck a little bit, mm -hmm. and it's stuck between two cities. Realistically, yeah. I mean, you think about it—the north and the south yeah. have always kind of had this combat, combative kind of feeling to it, mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, we're better at this, but we're better at this, yeah, yeah. and there's kind of that back and yeah. forth. So I feel like if there was that 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 gap to be bridged with a shorter mm -hmm. time frame in mind, it would really allow us as a province and as a you know sector of the, the great white north to mm -hmm. start putting these two very different but crazy cool communities mm -hmm. together yeah. to really imagine a better future. Yeah. That should be really sweet. And it is like an Elon Musk type idea, right? Very futuristic, but pretty reasonable, pretty realistic, Absolutely. and it would be so beneficial and it would take roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Calgary to Edmonton. Yeah. How amazing would that be? And with that being said, it would almost make these two cities one. Yeah. It'd be just like, and that's how I feel anyways, right? Like yeah. when I do go to Edmonton, besides that time gap in between of the travel, once you're there from Calgary, you feel like you're in the same city, just different. And it's nice. It is a bit of variation, mm -hmm. but it's very similar. So you're comfortable there. You know, like how to get around and what to do while you're there and vice versa. And even Red Deer, Red Deer is just small scale of, of both of them. So having that connection, it would make these two, these three cities really, Red Deer included, Red Deer would just expand rapidly as well. 100%. Um, into like this kind of mega city that's spaced apart. And <laughs> in my mind, that's like the city of a future, of the yeah. future, man, right? You have farmland in between, you have agriculture in between, you have, you know, natural countryside, and then you have these mega cities that are easily connected through this high-speed rail. And obviously you still have the road, because as we were talking to, it's nice to have that drive, and I love it too, but just having that option, like you could literally commute back and forth every single day, no problem at all. And it'd be freaking amazing, man. I really hope, because it's been talked about a lot. I yeah. talked about this with my dad, and they've mentioned it lots in his lifetime, having mm -hmm. a train in between. And so I really hope this is something that gets done. Yeah. Because um, it would just be amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for it too, man. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I like that there's more conversation about it. Mm -hmm. Like, even being as involved in the startup community as I was, it was a constant conversation, man. Yeah. Because there's a lot of great startup communities or business communities that rely off of the other city to mm -hmm. exist, right? Yeah. So if you could bring those communities together, we've all seen what happens when great minds get into the same room mm -hmm. or easily accessible. It just, big things happen and it's beautiful. Yeah, it would be amazing. So I hope, uh, it, just talking about it in this little podcast, I'll chop it up for a clip. It'll just, I want that conversation to continue. I want yeah. people to continue to think creatively like that. And I just think that'd be such a cool thing. I'm looking at the Calgary skyline and mm -hmm. it's so futuristic looking already. And I just can't help but imagine the futuristic potential of just all sorts of creative things being built from this part of the country. If only we could just continue to connect people more, right? And, and unite people more. So.